it's David from the LEGO Technic Workbench and today I'm going to show you my la latest project. It's something I wanted to show you for six months or something like that. I just finished building it today, so it's very fresh, very new, whatever. So this is an infinitely expandable gearbox module to create as many possible imaginable gear ratio that you want within a small numbers of modules that you can put in a supercar or a clock or anything. This is one module. There's only one driving ring. I done that with a differential to add and subtract some some torque. I won't ex go into details today. It's very complicated. I may do a manual or something. Leave a comment if you need to know anything about it. As I said, it's infinitely expandable. So, to show you, I've created a second module that we can connect with some parts here. So, now we connected them. They are connected with gear. Simple. Okay, so there's the input and the output. The second module subdivises each gear of the first module into three other gears. That means that each time I add one module, it multiplies the number of gears by three. It's exponential. It's so if I had three, three modules, I would have 27 speeds, and so on and so on. Let me show you. You put the first module in first speed and in first gear and the second module in the first gear. You get the first gear. When you put the second module in second speed, you get the second speed and third speed. Once you've done that, you have to go back to first speed for the second module and second speed for the first module. And you get the fourth speed and then fifth and sixth and then you turn on and etc until you reach the ninth speed. So for now on is the second part of the video. I'm going to do a speed test where with a very fast motor and a slow test to show you how it works. So I'm going out for the speed test. As you can see there's no uh, friction or very few friction so it's easy to make it spin very fast and still get some torque. Now I'm going to do the slow test with this old power function motor. I have to hold that in suspension because the differential is slipping on the table. Let's go. That's a slow gear. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Some gears seem to overlap, so I will I will have to to deal with this problem this week. Now it's well calibrated to every angle possible, spinning with the two driving rings. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please share, subscribe, hit the like button, anything. Show to your family if you want. If you... And if you're interested in instructions, please leave a comment down below asking for it. If enough people ask me for it, I will do it. And thank you very much for watching.